Well, Gil says it's going to be a number 10 November day, so it's hard to believe that earlier this week we saw our first snowfall. Yeah, and whenever we see snow, one thing is clear, we're going to see pictures. So you filled inboxes, our inbox, with photos of that and so much more, so we put it all together. Here's this week's report at Recap. We start with perhaps the week's wildest scene. Monday morning in New Haven, where a city police car racing to a call collided with a CT transit bus near the green. Moments after it happened, the pictures started coming in, showing the battered bus, the crumpled car, and a massive emergency response. That crash wasn't the only excitement we saw in the streets of New Haven this week. Anna, Harold, and Marcella were there to report it when a car caught fire Wednesday evening on Fox and Boulevard. You also helped us cover a landfill fire in Waterford over the weekend and showed us firefighters in action in Woodbridge. This past week, we honored those who've served on Veterans Day. There were parades in Brantford, Milford, and Naugatuck, and ceremonies in East Haven, Haddam, and at Mohican Sun. And we honored them in different ways. This little boy honored Grandpa by having his favorite meal. Kristen took her homemade cards from her class to the VA in West Haven. Dawn sent us a pic of her dad, who served in the 10th Mountain Division. And the House of Heroes group volunteers here working on homes for veterans in Cheshire, New Britain, and Manchester. Speaking of good causes, we're happy to see the donations piling up to fill News 8 and Bloom Shapiro's Thanksgiving food baskets to make sure no one spends the holiday hungry. It was a hungry family of bears Lisa spotted, traipsing through her backyard and on her deck in Avon. And congrats to another batch of young fall sports champions. Finally this week, the season's first flakes. They fell across Connecticut on Tuesday morning. Wasn't much more than a dusting. We're not counting the stuff they're making night and day at the ski area in Woodbury. But the first snow is always exciting, and in some spots it was enough to cover the furniture, still out of the back deck. These shots from Hilka captured the contrast of the seasons beautifully. And many of you sent shots like these of Tuesday's beautiful pink, purple, and orange sunset. Funny how a day that started so white could end with so much color.